Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello, Aaron. First, I'd like to thank you for all the guidance I have received from your videos and appreciate what you do for those of us who are still sane. I'm currently a junior at the University of Wyoming. Uh oh. Studying accounting. Okay, that's good. Bob has six cows. Frank sells them for more heifers. How many total bovine creatures does Bob have? He's too busy fucking his cousin. Ha ha ha. With one year to go after the semester. While this. Maybe unnecessary for my question. My Q is 138. Ah, you could do more than accounting. You better go CPA. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. <laughs> you went to Wyoming? And decided to leave and move to Wyoming to escape the years of ostracization due to my conservative-leaning views. Now that I'm soon to graduate, I've begun to believe that my political views were not the whole problem. I may just be a disconnect with American culture at large. Yeah, dude, your IQ is 138. Damn, okay, here we go again. I gotta put these books up top. At the bottom. Ah, oh, there the fucking elf fell. Damn it. Thankfully, nothing got unplugged. All right, let's put that one here. And I'll get those later. Ahem, <coughs> ahem, ahem. For all my listeners, viewers, and readers, uh, we'll put that there. Uh, yeah, that's your problem, man. You're, off, you're super high IQ. You're going to find out the conservatives are liberty. I mean, just because you're not a left, that doesn't mean you're smart. Plenty of dumb conservatives, and what's worse is the conservatives are such conformists. Maybe not as bad as hipsters, but I'm... It, that's the particularly uh, crippling thing, where you're just like, Oh, you're my team, huh? None of you do anything but what you say you're going to do, but that's what you do is all say you're going to do. You never do it. Oh, that's what a conservative is. Uh, despite the issues, I still have <clears throat> been successful with girls. What, all three of them in Laramie? Dude, I've seen Wyoming girl. I, I, you went from you went from the hottest girl market to the well, Gillette and Casper probably the ugliest. And a lot of good-looking gals in Laramie. I'm making friends, but I feel that most people I have matter either mind-numbing to talk to or plainly just not fun people. After putting in some research and having some influence through friends in my life have come to the thought that I may want to move to Brazil after college. While I understand that Brazil is relatively in the same boat as the U.S. politically uh, and unsafe in some areas, I found a real connection with people I have met from the country and generally love the culture, history, and geography. Yeah, dude, but see, that's that's some selection bias. Now, we have a, a Brazilian uh, agent in the field in Raleigh. Nice guy. Uh, but these are tip. If you get to the United States, everyone thinks, oh, Asians are so smart. No, no, no. Okay. 200,000 of the top one of 1% of 1% of the Chinese made it here into U.S. schools, right? There's still 1.3 billion of those motherfuckers, just as average as everybody else, and, and probably just as dickheadish as everyone else. Um, usually, if you're here studying, you're a little bit more traveled, a little bit classier. This isn't to besmirch the people back at home, but um, yeah, don't, don't, just because you have people here, don't think they're representative of the whole country. Uh, I found a real connection and, met for the, and generally love the culture, history, and geography. Have you been there? I don't know how you can love it if you've not been there. After doing my due diligence in terms of research as to what would entail me moving and being a month into learning the Portuguese language, I'm looking for a second opinion from a true asshole like yourself as to whether or not this is a good idea if I'm being short-sighted or rational due to my discontent with my current situation in the States. Yes. Yes. I'm not... You may actually love Brazil. I'm not saying don't go there. Um, you haven't set foot in the place, man. You don't even know what it's like. Oh, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta go explore it. Thank you for your time. Sorry for the drawn-out message. That was not drawn-out. I'll show you drawn-out messages. You wanna see drawn-out messages? I'll show you drawn-out messages. And maybe due to the fact that I'm so much Star Trek because this is my first request for a video response, I really appreciate your work. Dude, guys, I'm just... <laughs> I'm a schmuck with a website, guys. That's it. There's... I always get a kick when I meet people and prove, God, you're just like you are on the internet. I'm like, yeah, what? It's not a show. I'm not saying this is it. This is all it is. I got a hat. I have shoes on. I eat food. I shit just like you guys do. Actually, I shit a lot. Not to get you into my fecal habits, but I do poo a lot because I eat regularly and consistently. I'm always pooing. 
All right, that's not what we're here for. All right. Um, <clears throat> but it be boo boo made the payment. All right. It, look, you got a super high IQ. I have a feeling no matter where you go, you're not going to fit in. Uh, and that's the curse. That's why I wanted to read that. Read that book while you're on the plane down to Rio. Read that book. Um, so ju that's just my guess. I, it could be wrong. Uh, but you've gone for pretty much the extremes of the United States, a pretentious leftist shithole full of traffic and just the scum of the earth to the hickish of hickish towns that ever hicked, bar maybe Casper or, or Gillette, where cousins are fucking their sisters, the sisters are fucking their brothers, and half the high school population is already pregnant by the age of 15. All right, and, and they're shooting gun toting we're a conservative Republican tab, and we don't know, but we all still on welfare anyway. <laughs> um, that's what you, And if you didn't jive on, you know, maybe there's a happy medium like at Denver or Salt Lake City or who knows, maybe a, a, a Eugene, Oregon. Uh, I'm going to bet it's your IQ. 138 is pretty high, man. You're starting to get up there. Uh, you're in ostracization land. Uh, so when when you go to Brazil, don't expect like, oh, I have found my people. Now, all that being said, I'm 100% for you going to Brazil. And it's coming up on summertime, and so maybe you go check out Brazil. I would not be there uh, for a month. I would go visit for two weeks, see if you got some friends who are going back down to Brazil, see if you can get some free lodging. And then you travel and hang out into the town and, and uh, check out Brazil to whatever extent you can in two weeks. And then see if you like it still. Okay? Um, nothing wrong with learning the Portuguese language, but the only other country that speaks Portuguese is Portugal. I don't care if there's some no-name third world shithole island in the Atlantic that does. Not yelling at you, I'm yelling at the trolls that are going to comment down below. So, before you spend any more time doing that, uh, yeah, certainly brush up, get ready as good as you can go, go to Brazil, have fun, and then see if it's what is the dream in your mind, all right? Uh, and then you'll know. Then you'll come back with plenty of summer to spare, and then you can decide, do I want to start making my long-term goal to move to Brazil, or like, oh my god, half the towns don't have toilets, and uh, the favelas have uh, gangs, and they shot off my left foot <clears throat> because I was walking funny. Now I walk really funny. Uh, just scope it out first. Do some reconnaissance before you commit to that. And then um, even if you don't like it, it's still a good time. You still had two weeks. You still got to explore a different culture. And then you could figure out what you're going to do. Uh, I would say while you have that IQ of yours, though, while you're here in the United States, uh, I would be aiming directly for your CPA. I know that takes a couple more classes, and uh, well, maybe not Wyoming. Maybe they're still like, yeah, you got a bachelor's, you can apply. Um, but you've invested this time and money and effort into a bachelor's degree in a legitimate field, and you need to get a CPA. Uh, and even if you fall in love with Brazil, I would be focusing my efforts and attentions on making money in the United States, <clears throat> getting my CPA here, and uh, working up some money mastering Portuguese, and then go living in Brazil uh, or visiting it more regularly. But right now, you're just going to do a little reconnaissance mission. You're going to check out Brazil. You're not going to give up on your accounting degree. You're not going to give up on your CPA. Um, and that is as far as we'll go because we don't know what's going to happen in two weeks. Like, I thought I would have liked Switzerland. I did not like Switzerland. I thought I would have hated France. I like France. It wasn't, you know, we weren't in the worst parts of France. It was a nice place. And then um, <clears throat> Italy... Very depressing. I thought I'd love Italy. I did not love Italy. I love little bits of it, and that was enough for me. So why don't you go figure out whether you like Brazil for sure instead of just reading brochures in the internets about it, and get yourself a little of them Brazilian chicky babes. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.